Hello everybody, it's Chris Kleinsmith again and you are tuned in to Apostolic Touch. What a blessing it is to be in your home, to be in your company, to be with you over the next few minutes. I am looking forward to that, to share with you God's Word and to share with you the speakings of the Lord in this season. I am excited about that. I'm looking forward to the next few minutes, the next 25 minutes. It's going to be life-changing and I want you to tune in with your family, with your loved ones, with those who are closest to you. Tag three or four people in your Facebook page. Share onto your Facebook page. I promise you what you're going to hear is going to change your life forever. It's going to leave a mark in your life and the word of the Lord is going to prosper in your life. Now, um, for those of you who have been following, you'll know that I have started a, a new um, teaching series called Breakthrough. And I've been teaching it now for quite a while. But here, particularly in, in studio, I've been um, talking to us about the God of the breakthrough. I've been talking to us about the Lord of the breakthrough, how God is the one who is behind every breakthrough, how God is the one who is the initiator of breakthroughs. David says in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 20, uh, the Bible says he is at a place called Rephaim. <clears throat> and the Bible says that he calls this place the, 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 the God of breakthrough or the Lord of the breakthrough, which indicates that the breakthrough is a spiritual thing. Breakthrough is spiritual things. It's not natural things. It's not natural to break through. If it was natural to break through, then you would have broken through a long time ago. If it was natural for you to break through in the finances, you would have broken through a long time ago. If it was natural for you to break through in the business, the ministry, the church, the family, then you would have done it a long time ago. But because breakthrough is a spiritual thing, and because breakthrough is spiritual things, because breakthrough is spiritual in its nature, my God, God is the God of the breakthrough. Therefore, you now must come up from the natural means into the realms of the Spirit. I want you to listen to message one, session one, here where I, where I spoke to us about the God of the breakthrough. Listen to that message again, and I promise you, as you listen to it, you begin to realize and recognize that breakthrough comes from God. It originates from the Spirit of God. So listen to that again. And then in our second session, I spoke to us about how breakthrough, how God revealed Himself to David as the God of breakthrough. David had a revelation of the breakthrough God. He had a revelation. He had an apocalypsis of God, the breakthrough God. He had a revelation. Uh, he, his eyes were open. His ears were open. His spirit was open. His life opened to the possibility of the breakthrough God. This is the, this is the thing. I pray that over the next few minutes that you begin to have a revelation of the breakthrough God. You begin to have a revelation of the God of the breakthrough. Listen, I spoke to us in a previous session about how the, the people, the, the, those two guys who were on the road to Emmaus and they were walking with Jesus, but they didn't know it was him. Their eyes were closed to the truth. Their ears were closed to the revelation of who Jesus was. They, 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 they knew all the details. They knew about the man that was crucified. They knew about the one who was hung on the cross. They knew about the one who was laid into the tomb. They knew about the one where the stone was rolled before his tomb. They knew about that, but they did not know the revealed Jesus. And there's people that I'm speaking to today that have heard about breakthrough. Heard about the message on breakthrough. Heard about the word on breakthrough. Heard about the teaching on breakthrough. But they have not the revelation of the God of breakthrough. They have not the revelation of the breakthrough God. I pray that your eyes will begin to open to the breakthrough God. That your ears begin to open to the breakthrough God. My God, that your spirit begins to open to the breakthrough God. I dare you to say breakthrough God coming to my life. The God of breakthrough coming to my home. The God of breakthrough coming to my family. The God of breakthrough come into my surroundings. Hallelujah. And I spoke to us about how the word breakthrough in Hebrew means Perez. It literally means Perez. It, it, it is Perez rather. And it literally means breach or opening. 
please listen to that message again, how God creates openings over his people's lives. Now, when David is facing these, um, uh, these, this, this revelation, when David gets the revelation of God, God begins to uh, reveal himself to David as the God of breakthrough in the midst of his enemies. Listen to me today. God reveals himself as the God of breakthrough in the presence of David's enemies, in the presence of the Philistines. God reveals himself to David as the God of breakthrough in the company of his enemies. There was a time when the Bible talks about how David was on the side of the Philistines. The Bible talks about how David ran away from Saul and uh, how he ran away from Saul and he ended up in Gath. And the Bible says he lived in Gath and uh, they, uh, he lived with the Philistines and they harbored him for a time. Uh, listen, uh, go read through that. I also taught about that a few years ago um, uh, and, and, and get that teaching on our social media platform where David lived in the land of Gath and he lived with Achis, and Achis gave him what was called Ziglag. And the Bible talks about how uh, David um, was on the side of the Philistines. But now the Bible talks about how David is on the other side, and now he takes up the place, and, the, and David now begins to uh, recognize the Philistines as the enemy, the enemies of God, God's enemies. God's are God's enemies. And the Bible says, that the Lord manifest himself to David as the God of breakthrough in the presence of his enemies. You see, breakthrough manifest in the midst of your adversaries. Can I say that again? Breakthrough will manifest in the midst of your enemy. Breakthrough will manifest in the midst when you are facing an adversary. The Bible tells me that your adversary, the devil, he is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. You see, the context of the text is that the moment David was anointed as king, the moment David was inducted as king and the oil came upon him, and the Bible says when they anointed him as king, the Bible says the Philistines, they heard about how David now finally comes to the place of kingship comes to the place of dominion and he is ruler and the bible says the philistines know knew that david was a man skilled with war and skilled with the ability to fight and so they wanted to stop him from ruling and having um his uh, and exerting his power and his dominion and the bible says they came to fight against david to stop him from becoming the global success as it were and so the enemies came up against David. The enemies came to stop him. The enemies came to hinder him. I don't know who it is I'm speaking to right now. But the moment you experience the acceleration of the Lord, the moment you experience the anointing oil flowing, the moment you experience the movement of God, the sudden movement, the quick movement, the moment you experience the breaking of the defensive lines in your life, the moment you experience how God shifted you from one level and in your heart of hearts you knew it was God who shifted you. In your spirit you knew it was God who shifted you. And there's a particular text where the Bible says, and David perceived that he was king. And you knew in your heart that God shifted you. But the moment that the Lord shifted you, the Bible says, the Philistines came against David I'm speaking to someone right now that right now the moment you came into the place of rulers of dominion and this prophetic fulfillment you are faced with a Philistine you are faced with an enemy you are faced with an adversary and I want you to know that it is in the midst when the enemy comes against you. This is the breeding ground for the God of breakthrough. Are you hearing me today? This is the breeding ground for the God of breakthrough. The moment the enemy comes in like a flood. This is the breeding ground for the God of breakthrough. This is where the God of breakthrough sows himself straw. This is where the God sows him. This is where the God of breakthrough sows himself all 
powerful. It is when the enemy is at his most adamant. It is when the enemy is at his most skillful. It is when the enemy is at the highest in your life. This is when the God of breakthrough begins to manifest himself. Are you hearing me this moment? Are you hearing me wherever you may be? I don't know what city. I don't know what nation, what continent you are in right now. But the moment you are surrounded with the enemy is the, is the breeding ground for the God of breakthrough. And God manifests himself to David as the God of breakthrough in the presence of his enemies. The Bible tells me in the book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse 1, Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. I want to prophesy over someone's life. I want to prophesy over someone's ministry, over someone's business, someone's family, someone's children, someone's home, someone's finances. I want to speak over someone right now that even though what enemy you may be facing right now, it is when the enemy comes in like a flood, when God starts arising, when God starts showing himself strong, when God begins to demonstrate his power when God begins to demonstrate his omnipotence when God begins to demonstrate his anointing come on now it is when the enemy comes in like a flood the Bible says the the spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against him I declare right now you are going to see the God of breakthrough in your life you see when you face an enemy you need the God of breakthrough. When you face an enemy, this is when the God of breakthrough is going to sow himself powerful in your life. Don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged. Don't be disheartened. Don't be disappointed. The God of breakthrough is coming to help you. The God of breakthrough is coming to assist you. The God of breakthrough is coming to break you through. The God of breakthrough is coming to aid you. I declare that this is the season where you are going to see the God of breakthrough. You remember the story when Elisha and his servant Gehazi, they were facing against an army, an insurmountable army. The Bible says they were down in the valley and they were facing an army that looked it was impossible to overcome. But the Bible says that Gehazi said to Elisha, man of God, can you see how the armies are against us? Can you see the horses and the chariots? Can you see the weapons and the weaponry? Men of God, can you see that we are surrounded with all these army? Don't you know that the enemy is going to take us out? This is what Gehazi is saying to Elisha. This, don't you know this is going to be the last day that we are under earth? They are going to wipe us clean off the face of the earth and I don't know who I'm speaking to today that is facing a enemy that is facing I don't know what enemy it is that you're facing an enemy of sickness an enemy of disease, an enemy of limitations, an enemy of, uh, of confusion, an enemy of suicide, an enemy of a lack of faith, doubt, unbelief. I don't know what enemy it is that you are facing, but hear the word of the Lord. And Elisha said to Gehazi, Gehazi, he, he, he said these words to Gehazi, he says, Do not be afraid of these people. Do not be afraid of these men because they that are with us are more than they which are against us. Are you hearing me today? Elisha saying to him, don't you know that we have the God of breakthrough on our side? Don't you know that when the, in the situation is heated up, the God of breakthrough is in our midst? Don't you know when the enemy comes in like a flood, the God of breakthrough is in our midst? So the moment the enemy comes in and the moment the enemy starts moving, Moving, the God of breakthrough will manifest himself. Listen very carefully here. The Bible says here in the next part of this verse, David says, The Lord, the Lord has broken through upon my enemies 
as the breach of waters. He's broken through upon my enemies. Let me say this for a moment. God is going to break through your enemies. Amen. God is going to break through any enemy that is standing in front of you. God is going to annihilate every enemy that is standing in front of you. If God could take out the enemies of David and God could take out the enemies of Gideon and God could take out the enemies of the uh, Israelites, God is going to take out and remove the enemies that is standing in your way. I'm saying it again. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. I don't know if you can hear this word of the Lord. This breakthrough message is a militant message. This breakthrough message is a warfare message. This breakthrough message is a message that will pull down principalities, pull down powers, pull down rulers, pull down strongholds, and praise God, you are going to receive the victory of the God of the breakthrough. The Bible says here, in the latter part of this verse, it says, And the Lord of the breakthrough, he has broken through on my enemies as the breach upon waters. Now, listen to me. Just like the waters here, he says, just like the waters um, through a mighty force is able to break the banks of its rivers, or the rivers breaks its banks, when the water rises, it begins with forcefulness. It breaks the banks. It, it breaks every bank on the left and on the right. And whatever is on the banks, uh, when the force of water comes, it, the water forces everything with it. Nothing is able to stop it. Nothing is able to stand in the way of this water that when it rises and whatever is standing in its way, the water will take its course. The water will not be able to be stopped. The water cannot be blocked. The water cannot be hindered. Whatever is standing in the face of water, uh, when it rises in the river, it, whatever is standing in its way, the water will wash it away and will move it away. Are you hearing me today? Are you hearing the word of the Lord? And this is what the Bible says in the book of Joshua chapter 3 verse 15. The river Jordan breaks its banks all the time of harvest. Hallelujah. The river, the river Jordan breaks its banks on the left and on the right all the time of harvest. I want to take a moment and prophesy that you will be like the river of uh, the river Jordan that breaks its banks on the left and on the right, that breaks its limitations, breaks its holds, uh, breaks its, uh, 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 break its every prevention. You will be like the river Jordan that breaks forth, breaks through, breaks over, breaks in, breaks out. Glory to God. You will be like this river. This is talking about how this force and the force of this water is an unstoppable force. Nothing can stop it. Once water takes its, uh, its, its course, nothing is going to stop it. Once the river starts to flood and the ocean begins to flood, it, it, there's nothing that's going to stop it. It's unstoppable. It, it cannot be blocked. You just have to move out of the way. Are you hearing me this morning? You just have to move out of the way. And I came to tell you today that you must begin to declare to your enemy, it's time to move out of my way because the God of breakthrough is rising in my life and he is going to break every bank on my life on the left and on the right. My God, I'm having a good time this morning. The breakthrough God is an unstoppable God. This is what David is saying. The breakthrough God is an unstoppable God. He's like, he broke through on my enemies. Like the waters over, uh, like the waters, he, like the waters, he broke through upon my enemies. Like the waters, like the breaks of waters, like the openings of waters. He's saying my God is unstoppable. My God is unshakable. It is like this when God caused the Red Sea 
to open up for the people of God. Remember, I spoke about this in the second or the first, in the first session, where God opened up the Red Sea. And now the Bible says they, the people of God walk through on the Red Sea. Yeah? They walk through on the Red Sea and they came through on the other side. Once they were through on the other side, the Bible says the, the Pharaoh and the Egyptians followed hard after them. And as they came through, the Bible says God closed the Red Sea and the full, or rather the Egyptians, they could not stop the water from overflowing and drowning them and taking them out. This is what I believe David is saying. This is what David is saying when he says that ye broke through upon my enemies as the breach of waters. He says that nothing was able to stop my God of breaking through. Your breakthrough cannot be stopped. Your God of breakthrough cannot be stopped. I want you to hear the word of the Lord. When God begins to break through, it's going to be unstoppable. When God is going to break through, it's going to be undeniable. When God is going to break through, it's going to be a non-reversible. When God is going to break through, it's going to be an inevitable. When God is going to break through, it's going to be a non-preventable. When God is going to break through, nothing else. And no one is going to be able to stop the breakthrough of God in your life. The valley of giants could not stop David from breaking through. The valley of giants, even though uh, there was a valley of giants, how many of them there was, I cannot tell you. But one thing that I do know, that the giants, that the Philistines have been recruiting giants for the longest of times to fight against David. And the Bible says all of them came together in one place to fight against David. And here we find a valley of giants, a bucket load of giants, an overflow of giants. But you know what? That not even the valley of giants could stop David from breaking through. Not even the valley of giants could stop the God of breakthrough. Not even the valley of giants could stop the God of breakthrough of breaking through them and accomplishing the purposes and the breakthroughs of the Lord. I don't know who it is I'm speaking to. Send me a message. Send me an email. WhatsApp me. Send me a message. Let me know that this, this message has been a encouragement to you, has been a blessing to you, has been a motivation to you, has spoken to you in this season. Send me an email. I want to hear from you. Wherever you are, whatever city you are in, send me a message. Let me know that the God of of breakthrough is breaking through for you in this season. This is the prayer of my heart. This is the prayer of our hearts that your breakthrough will be inevitable and it will be unstoppable. That you will say like David says that this is the God of breakthrough and he has broken through my enemies as the breach of waters. And I've enjoyed I've enjoyed being in your company. I've enjoyed sharing the word of the Lord with you. I've enjoyed speaking this word breakthrough with you. I'm looking forward to come again and just continue with this breakthrough message and continue with the breakthrough teaching. I believe that as we continue with the breakthrough teaching, it's going to break through in your life and you are going to see the manifestation, the revelation of the God of breakthrough in your life because He is the God of breakthrough. Listen to this message again. Download it. Uh, get the study notes. Um, share it with your family, loved one, and friends. And I believe it's going to cause a breakthrough in your life. I'm Chris Klingsmith. You've joined me on Apostolic Touch. I'm back again next week. Same time, same place. 7 o'clock Central African time. And I'm looking to be in your home and in your company. Until next time. Bye-bye, everybody.